Hi everybody, today I would like to talk to you about car designing. So I understand that when we are students, when we are very young and we don't know all the steps of car design process, sometimes when we think about this it's very strange, how a sketch becomes a car. I'll try to be very simple in my explanation. It's not so complicated. It's a long process, but it's not complicated. First of all, we must understand that we designers do not uh, sketch and, and then that's it, it's finished for us. As you know, there are several roles in design. You have a designer, you have expert designers, you have lead designers, you have chief of design studios, but you also have design managers, design directors. So basically, there is a team that is working on a project. So you have the most creative part of the team, which is a, a group of young designers before a selection of an idea it's made. Then you have a design manager that is in control of the process of making the car for design, that is controlling what's going on, and then I'll explain to you how. You have a lead designer who is in charge of creativity, an expert designer in the studio or within the group that is there to orientate creativity, to explain what is good, what is bad, Basically, someone that uh, has to design also, but it's there to make sure that uh, the design philosophy of the company is uh, very well respected, even improved. You have design directors. The design director of that project is the most important person in design uh, organization for that project that has to ensure when he goes to presentation with top management of that company that uh, the ideas that his uh, team are developing are correct, that he can sell them very well. And then he will follow, of course, that project from the beginning until the very end with the design manager, who is his sparring partner to make sure that both of them can take those ideas, models, finalize that idea and that model, and then after we can have uh, the rest of the team made of engineers, suppliers, people from purchasing departments, etc., that will work with design to make that idea a real car. But let's explain to you three main steps. The first one, the first one, it's the most interesting one for every designer. It's the ideation phase. Ideation, it's something that, it's, uh, that we do uh, almost every day. When we are in school, we start a project, we start sketching. That's ideation. But the most important thing we, have, we don't have to forget is that when we start sketching before, we get what we call a briefing, a project briefing. It's made by the product planning and marketing people who study the market. They know they're responsible in the company for what we will put in production in the next 10 years. So 10 years before, they had to think the range of cars in every segment that they have to come out starting next 10 years. So they make a briefing project on a given project, and they say design, engineering, and other, other groups that uh, help to make the car. We had to make a small car with this size that has to have this cost for this type of people, so market. So please, sketch something, prepare something. We will analyze together. We will make some choices. And then move on with the project to make sure that everything is cohesive, coherent, 
and then we can go to production. So that briefing, it's the most important thing to start a project. So briefing usually is a today is a PowerPoint with a lots of pictures, of studies, statistics, a lots of written parts where we read basically the scenario in which this car, this project, has to live one day. Design director, design manager, they call the designers that have been chosen to participate to this project, and they explain the briefing. And they give it to them, but before they explain, they explain it. Sometimes the people that made that briefing, the product people, they are part of that presentation. It's a be better way to explain, to understand. There are questions, why do you do this? Why do you ask to do that? And people interact in, during a meeting, that usually it's a long meeting, it's a sort of a workshop, during which we understand why product planning, why the company is asking us to make that project. So we start, we have a planning, okay? We know the day zero, and we know when the car is supposed to be in production. So let's come to the first step, the designing of a car. So the team of designers starts making ideations, lots of ideas. And there is a period of time during which they make ideas, they make selection, the selection is made, of course, with the director, design manager, the lead designer. The designers also understand that they made some ideas that are not so nice, but there are some others which are better. So they collect what is best at the end. And little by little, in a given time, we have two, three, four conceptual ideas that might become the good ones between which they will be the good one to develop. So this is a phase where we we'll just sketch. We do black and white sketch, color sketches, digital sketches, nice photoshops. We do whatever we have to do. Every designer participating, everything he can do or she can do to be the best between that group and make sure that uh, her or his proposal will be chosen. In parallel with this part, there is the design manager that has to be the tie between ideation and design, but also the rest of the company. For example, the engineers. We don't work alone. It's impossible to make a car that a lot of people involved. So design is just one part of people involved. Then we have engineers, architects, people that are uh, uh, responsible for exterior uh, body car, people that are responsible for interior body cars, people that are responsible to call the suppliers that will help us to make uh, seats, uh, dashboards, technology uh, that we have to implement in the car, you know, stuff like that, and many other people. So the design manager looks what the design young uh, designers are doing, and he is in between those ideas and the engineers that make the package. What is a package? Simple. The package is basically the main dimensions and uh, technical aspects of the base of that car. What we call the platform. Technical platform. Basically, is the mechanical part of the car with all the with the four wheels. A steering wheel, a position to sit, okay, if it's uh, four uh, seats or five places, if the car is a small city car or a longer car, if the car has to be a taller car or a shorter car, okay, so all that stuff. Then the design manager is the one that uh, is in between those two teams and he tries to negotiate what is the best for design so that the engineers can modify. But sometimes engineers cannot modify some of our requests. So in that case, it's design that has to recreate a different type of the idea or part of their ideas to make sure that this is compatible with the technical aspects. Okay, now I hope you follow me on that because I know it's not so easy. But anyway, just to make a resume, we have designers, 
engineers working together, and we have a design manager in between that is doing the interest of design, understanding what's going on in the technical part. So, once we finish this part where the package fits into our design uh, proposals and the design proposal proposals fits into the package so that the two people, group of people, agree, we come to the part number two. We make a digital model. This means that we go into virtual reality because today hey, we have technologies. So some of you know alias Autodesk uh, software. Some people do this with Katia, which is more a technical type of, uh, of uh, software. ISM Surf, which is another one, more technical. And then we have also Reno, which is a one that is used in some design school. But let's talk about Alias, which is the most common. And it's the one I know the best. We can make a virtual model, three-dimensional model. Once we do that, we get to the third step, final step, for this first part of a project. And this one is to make a model. So we go from the three-dimensional virtual step to the real uh, manual, real model. How do we do this? The digital part, it's given to a big machine, which is called the milling machine. We decide what type of uh, material to use that will be milled, shaped by the machine. In general, we do a first one in a white, uh, <clears throat> in white uh, polystyrene, okay? So it's a very light model, not too expensive, but it's a very good way to see right away in a very short time a scale one-to-one -one model and judge proportions, lines. We can, put the, we can paint the windows with black uh, paint. We leave uh, generally the body in white, the white of the material. We have the wheels. Everything is respecting the package. And we start to watch it. And we say, hey, you know what? The car is not so bad. But look at the hood. It's gone too much like that. So we have the computer next to us, the people that work on the computer with the designer. And they decide, <coughs> thanks to the model, how much we had to modify <coughs> on the digital model, that aspect. Add so on for the rest of the car. So once we go back to the digital model and we make that modification, we mill again another scale model, this time with a different type of material, apple wood, for example. So this makes sure that once the, the, the model has been milled, we can paint. And when we paint the model, believe me, the model looks like a real car, even if it's a, a full racing model. So we cannot open doors, it's a fake one. But the exterior, we can see everything. We put the chrome parts, we can put the aluminum parts. So it's a more complex model that needs more time to be made and it has a different cost. Of course, it's a little bit more expensive. There is one thing I did not talk about because some people do, some other people don't do, but I think it's very important to do. It's the clay model step, working with clay, which is extremely important. The, the major car design companies work with clay. All the artistic design element. We can do everything by hand sketching. We can transfer that on a digital model that's okay. More or less, the two things, the 2D and the digital one, they look pretty much the same. The digital model is respecting the technical aspects, the package, as we said before, and this is great, but it's still missing the artistic part. So it's a little bit complicated to pretend that from the digital model, we have also the artistic part. This is complicated. Some people arrive to do that, but believe me, it's a lot, a lot better to mill a clay, full clay model so that we can work by hands. We can check some type of uh, transitions on the surfaces. We can correct some lines. And then we do this by hand, checking, of course, reflections, 
how they are displaying on the body. It is with clay that we apply and we get this type of emotions, visual emotions of the design expressed. So, I, I think that I've said it pretty much what I want to say today about designing a car. I know that it's not exhaustive because there's a lot of other things to, to, to tell you, but I think that for young designers and young students going to design school, it was very nice to explain to you how is this first part of the, our design process. Okay, thank you very much for your attention.